Hey guys, I wanted to go over how to do many-to-many -many relationships in Typeform. I'm first going to go over the way they do it in the documentation, and then I'm going to show you another way which I end up doing a lot more. So here is their documentation on many-to-many, -many, and this is how you set up a many-to-many -many relationship. So similar to what you saw with one-to-one -one or many-to-one, we're going to say many-to-many, -many, we're going to decorate a type, and then you specify the type you want to have that relationship with. So question, we're setting up a many-to-many -many relationship with category here. Now, I want to take this and do this for an example for a user and a post. So I'm going to create a new type called post.typescript. And first, I'm just going to copy this entity. And I'm going to call it post. And it's going to have one field called title. Now this is going to be kind of like how I want to set up the relationship how Reddit has it. So a users can upvote or downvote posts. So that's a many to many relationship because a post can be voted by many users and users can vote on many posts. So what I could do is add a table like this. I would need to import many to many and join table. And we're going to say user, and this will grab a all the users that have voted on this post. Now I can name this table, so I could name it, for example, vote. But there's one problem. I don't know whether this vote is a upvote or a downvote. So this might be something I want to add to the join table itself. So if you're familiar with many-to-many -many relationships. To relate post and a user, you have to create a third table to make the relationship happen. So this will automatically create a table called vote and relate them for us. But we can explicitly make this table um, if there's extra fields that we need to do. And in this case, that's what I want to show you guys. So I can create a table here called vote.typescript. And I, I just want to copy what we have over here. Alright, so I'm going to call this vote and I'm going to get rid of all this stuff here. So now with vote how I want it to work is it's going to have one extra field which I talked about so column and this is going to be um, I was thinking we could make it a boolean but you know what we could just make it type and So you can just say like vote worth or uh, value. So for example, it could be a one for an upvote or a negative one for a downvote. And then this way we could increase it by more values if we wanted to, like maybe his vote counts for three. So now we, we take the value of the vote, we're storing it in here. So now with this vote, a uh, this is gonna be our join table and it's going to be connected to post and user. So it's really a one-to-one -one relationship. So we could come over to here how they set up their one-to-one -one and just copy it. So just like this. So now I'm going to import one-to-one. -one. And then so on one hand, I'm related to user and join column. And on the other hand, and let's say user type user. And on the other hand, I'm related to post. And I need to import that post. All right, so now I have this set up. But with um, tables or entities in type form, you also have to specify a primary column. And really, since this is a join table, the primary column is the ID for the user and the post ID. So I'm going to create a new column here. And you have to specify that it is a primary column. And I'm going to say user ID, which is going to be a number. And at primary column. And here I want to specify, I, think, I don't know what the values. OK, primary column can be an int. So this is going to be an int as well. And this will be the post ID, which is a number. And the reason why I made this an int 
is because this is going to be the ID of the user, which is an int or a number here. So now this is how you can set up a join table. So vote, and then we can add as many fields as we'd like on this, and now it's related to user and post. And so now we could do queries on this. At least our table is set up. If I were to do npm start and we could go look at the database, we can see vote set up and the foreign keys all connected. So PC goal. So now I have a couple different tables here and we can look at vote and we can see it's a foreign key to post ID and user ID. So it's set up nicely. So this is what I end up doing a lot more because I end up wanting to add fields to my join tables a lot of the times. But I wanted to show you guys that. That's it for this video. And I think I'm going to be done with type warm. There's a lot more to talk about, but I want to get to some other things that I've been itching to talk about. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys tomorrow.